Are you guys not deflating your tires because it's a hassle? Well, I may have the perfect affordable solution right here. Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX. And today I'm gonna to be talking about this portable heavy duty 12 volt air compressor that was sent to me by GoBege. Okay, now you know how I'm always promoting you know, the deflation of your tires, where are you gonna be going on the beach or off-roading? Well, to me, I'm always at the beach, you know, so on the sand, it makes a hell of a difference. But for a lot of us, I know it's a hassle, you know, to, you know, get them back to um, operating air pressure, you know, after we're done with our adventure. It feels like it takes forever, it's a hassle. So a lot of folks end up, you know, what, I'm not gonna bother with it. It's too much of a pain in the butt. I want to talk about you know the air compressor what it comes with I think it's very affordable okay and uh, but the only real way to test it out see if it's worth it is by putting it to work on my tire but first I'm going to tell you about the specs and I'm going to tell you what it comes with um, so it comes in this box right here and uh, in this bag okay it's a very simple light little bag okay that will be uh allowing you to carry all of your accessories in it um, but it comes with this it comes with these extra little accessories you know if you want to you know inflate you know uh i don't know some sort of stuff for your pool you know like beach you know or like pool toys or whatever you know inflatable type of items you can certainly do it with this these attachments it comes with this uh, chuck that you, okay, just simply screw on right here, okay. You can do that or you should be able to just directly, you know, screw this onto your, your tire, okay, to the valve. And, uh, of course, it has, you know, this built-in uh, gauge. I don't know how accurate it's going to be. We will be testing out to see how accurate this is. Uh, this is a 26 foot hose, so it should be able to get around the vehicle. Um, I will be testing it out, see if it will reach all the tires as well. And uh, of course, you know, little connection, simple little connection right there. That'll go right here easily. Well, there it is. You know, when it comes to the body of the machine, this is heavy, man. This is a heavy uh heavy compressor at 16 pounds okay um the dimensions you know it, it should be uh uh 15 okay by 11 and a half almost you know from top to bottom um it is rated the specs it's rated for 100 up to 150 psi maximum pressure once again it is a 12 volt compressor so you know you that's why it comes with these clips you know for your battery um, I do suggest that you keep the vehicle on when you are using this, okay, just to avoid draining your battery when you're doing so. Um, taking a look at this right here, I don't know if you can see it perfectly there, but it's got the on off switch, you know, it's got the circuit breaker right there. Um, it's got this ventilated uh, handle at the top got your air filter right in here all right Let's see here uh, I can tell you that it looks pretty solid uh, so yeah it is it's not flimsy at all it's not cheapo you know it feels pretty solid right here I'm sure that there's gonna be other models that are similar to it once again we are keeping the price okay in mind here okay so I'm gonna be looking at how it's worth for the price now this you know go beige is claiming a 6.35 CFM okay uh, at 0 psi that is you know so it'll be interesting to see how long it takes it to inflate my tire you know the clamps the connector this is uh, 8 feet okay up to eight feet now obviously the the compressor is off right now but
but make sure like I said that you turn on your vehicle just to be on the safe side you know just in case you know you don't want to you know drain your battery out there so these are KO2 BF Goodrich KO2's 285 75 on 17 inch wheels and uh, what does that mean that's like a 34 inch tire and uh, so first I'm going to be using I'm going to be using just to, I guess to keep it, you know, kind of uh, fair and as a control, I'm going to be using this uh, gauge, this tire gauge to see to where we're at. So the tires are cold. This is just maybe 37, 38. We're like between 37 38 right here and I'm gonna be using these are my check this out guys I don't know if uh, you guys use this but these are scog chuck mates connected to my Ston tire deflators and they should be around eh, I would say like close to 15 psi on each one of them, I'm going to use this same one just to keep everything in the same, uh, you know, fair and, and and see what's going on here. Let me see. Let's go ahead and let it deflate. So that's how easy it is uh, with these right here. What you can do is you can just clamp them on instead of having to unscrew and screw and unscrew it back it'll just save you a few more seconds you know when you're out you know and about and trail or whatever you know this is a lot easier okay so now let's check now let's check and see where we're at yeah right about 15 around 15 psi or so maybe just a little bit under let's see again Yeah, maybe more like 14. Oh. Yeah, about 14 on those uh, using that one right there. So now let's go ahead and try it out. So what I want to do is I want to check and see what it's registering here. See if it's true to it. And yeah it's it's more like uh yeah so what people have said is that with this gauge you have to you have to check it when it's off and with this gauge it's going to be about five kind of about five psi under the true the true um measurement okay so right now it's at about yeah it's about six no i'm sorry about 11 five or 11 you know which means uh yeah it should be around 14 that 14 mark okay so let's go ahead and crank it up and let's see uh how long it's going to take and in order to do that i'm just going to use this uh i'm just going to use my phone over here okay let's see if i can balance it out over here and that'll be uh that's going to tell us hopefully you know how long it's going to take So let me test it out here. It's uh, reading at about 36. So maybe let's go a little bit longer. Uh, 
So let's see where we're at at the three minute mark, okay? So according to the gauge uh, on the go beige, it's 25, 30, 35, just under 40. So let's, let's see how accurate that is with the other with the other tire gauge let's see here that is pretty accurate guys that's about 40 right there as you can see so from about 14 to uh thir to about from 14 psi to uh 40 psi it took about three minutes okay now this is the first time i ever used this machine so i really didn't know how long it was going to take all right, so that's pretty good. Okay guys, so that was a pretty simple test. It made quick work out of it. It was pretty easy, convenient, but I'm not gonna end it right there. So what have I been using all this time for years? I've been using my Viair uh, 300P, okay? And it's a little more expensive. Of course, the Viair name is uh, a little more prominent, I guess, you know, more people use that. Uh, this product is also made in China, so is the Go Beige. But that one, I, I know I had said at 6, but I said that it was at 6.35. It's really 5.56 CFM. This one, let me show you what I've been using all this time. This tiny little Bayer, right? And this one right here is also max 150 PSI and uh it is uh 2.30 cfm so it's almost it's about yeah it's about half of what the go beige claims so i want to test this out compare it to the go beige and see you know also this is you know very good quality well built via products are very good as well you know but it is a lot more expensive so you know, let's go ahead and test this out, and uh, it connects pretty much the same way. And uh, but in order to make it a little more fair, okay, I'm gonna be using this, you know, hose that I made. All right, you know, I like this one because it has like this little easy connect chuck right here. Unfortunately, it does not have, okay, it does not have um, a built-in uh, tire pressure uh, a gauge all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it to the three minutes it took three minutes you know to get it to 40 uh, but I'm gonna use this same hose on both of them and see where it gets me from 14 psi okay and how much air it's gonna pump in in three minutes okay let's see okay friends so this is the exact same Chuck I mean, uh, the same one that I used. All right. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And we're going to check to see if it's at around 14 PSI. It should be the same. It should be consistent. 14, 15. And uh, then we're going to give it a try with the 300P, the Bayer 300P. See what happens. Okay, so... That's it. Oh, I have to do that. And now I am going to check. Yeah, so it is consistent with that particular, that uh, the tire deflator that stawn right here. I'm going to leave it right there. It's the same one that we're going to use for this little mini experiment. Very crude little experiment. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the timer instead, uh, and I'm going to do it at uh, three three minutes. So at three minutes, see how much um, see how much air is actually going to go in at the three minute mark. Okay. Oops. Let me see here, right here. And uh, let me turn on the vehicle just in case. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the start of the timer as soon as I turn on the Viair. <laughs>
right there. Went ahead and stopped it. Let me turn off the truck. Let's go ahead and check using that tire gauge. See where we're at. It's about 38. Let me give it another little test just in case. Put this out of the way here. Yeah, so, yeah, it's about between 37 and 38, I would say. So, let's go ahead and test out the go bench. Let's see what it can do in three minutes. Once again, using the same chuck, okay, the same tire deflator. Okay. So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and connect the hose there. Turn on the truck. Okay, friends, so using the same method, I am going to go ahead and hit the timer for three minutes as soon as I turn on the go beige, okay? And three, two, one, here we go. that and let's turn off the truck so yes I'm kind of nerding out over here and I am curious to see what three minutes on the gobage did oh yeah yeah that's way more air in there that's uh, 41 41 psi let's give it another try just to make sure yeah 41 compared to the 37 and a half you know for the vi air so within three minutes there's definitely more air coming in from the go beige okay so at least that crude stupid little experiment of mine you know did prove that all right it did outperform you know when it comes to you know the time of getting your air in your tires yeah the go beige is the clear winner there so let's Let's go and talk about my conclusions here. So let's get down to the bottom line here and my final thoughts on the Go Beige. It's a beast. It's well built. Yes, you know, it, it, it pumps in that air just the way they claim. And this is probably a very, very good uh, air compressor, you know, for those of you that have larger tires. Uh, or need something more heavy duty and where portability is not a big deal you know uh, space is not a big deal um, and at a great value you just can't go wrong for 159 and change okay just about 160 bucks on Amazon of course with my hopefully my little discount you'll get a little little uh, uh, it'll probably maybe come, come down to a little bit less than that uh, you can save on some shipping charges or whatever but Anyway, so yeah, I think it's a, it's, it's a good deal. Will I change it? Will I replace my Viair 300P? No, I am not going to do that. Uh, and I'll tell you why, okay? So let's set this aside and I'll tell you why. Because with my little 300P over here, even though it took longer to air up and all that, you know, we're talking about portability when you're overlanding at least for my application and you know I don't have a trailer I don't have a big pickup truck you know it's just my little truck over here and I have limited space and so I need something that's gonna get the job done it's gonna be dependable and uh, you know even though it takes a little bit longer but at least I know that I can take it with me it's gonna fit in my drawer system with no issues you know it's it's a lot you know uh, you know it's 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 more lightweight to be honest with you i mean uh we're talking about 50 percent uh less weight than the go okay 
you know, and uh, so you can't beat that. This is also uh, 50, almost 15 and a half, a little over 15 inches in length. You know, you can see the difference, you know, how much bigger it is. This is about 10 inches, right? You know, so it's a lot more compact, as you can see. And, um, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be replacing it. Uh, and, and, you know, I have 34-inch tires, so, you know, it does the job for it. You got to use your head. You got to think, you know, also with your pocketbook. Whatever matters to you, if money means nothing, you know, then go. There's a bunch of more expensive stuff out there that, you know, will get the job done faster and more convenient. You know, but if you're on a budget and you really need something that's going to power up your big tires on your diesel truck or, you know, maybe you got 35s, 40s, you know, this is the way to go. All right. You know, the go beige is definitely the right move for you. So it's just like any tool, whatever works for your project, whatever works for your application. And uh, but anyway, what I want to say is I want to say thank you. If you made it all the way to the end of this video. I hope that uh, this did help you out. If it did, you know, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe and, uh, you know, we'll catch you on the next one.